Hey, SFE students, this is Mr. Nelson again. Say a couple of the activities that we're going to be doing are going to ask that you have uh, the use of a ball of some sort, and it needs to be safe for the environment you're going to be in. If you're outside, it really won't matter. Whatever kind of ball you can come up with, that's fine. But if you're inside, we want, we want to make sure it's a nice soft ball for the games that we're going to be playing. So we're going to be working on our underhand throwing, and Miss Lemke came up with the idea of if you don't have a ball around, make one. So I'm just going to show you quickly. Um, she said use a pair of socks. And if you have a, one long sock, that's fine, that'll work. Um, these are shorter, so I decided I'm going to use two of them. Put them together, and I'm just going to roll them up into a ball. Just keep rolling them inside out. Just keep tucking it over. So you're tucking the, the top in. And when you get to it's tucked almost inside out, it's not quite the shape of a ball. Now I use this in the games that we that we tried, and it does work. So even just this is is fine. But if you want to just make it a little bit rounder, you can ask mom and dad for permission. But maybe get some masking tape, and you don't want to put a lot on. You just want to put. Um, I'm going to put one one strip going around one direction. Don't pull it tight. Again, the idea isn't to make an, a super hard ball. The idea is just to kind of keep it, keep it round. So I'm going one, round one way, and I'm going to go one the other way. And that will probably be enough. Now, if you want to do another, another one, you can, but this will probably be enough. And again, don't pull it, don't pull it super tight. Just pull it enough so it attaches on. And that's gonna keep it, that's gonna keep it pretty round. Then the other way you could do a third one is around this way. So I'm gonna add a third one on there now that I look at it. I think this will help. So you're gonna go one each direction. Just basically three directions you can go on there. Tape it on. And now you can use these for the two games that we're going to be uh, developing in the next uh, two weeks. So good luck with that. If you have other ideas, we're hoping to uh, come up with ways where you can show what you used for Evolve, what you used to develop your games. So look for links that show how you can interact with us and show us what you did too. Awesome. We'll see you soon.